What's up you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. So this is my channel and I answer questions sometimes and here's one question that I'm going to answer. Hey Lloyd, I was talking with this girl and we went out one time and I really messed up by being too needy. We are still talking a little bit, however, but it feels different. How can I get her back after having messed up? Okay, so this is a pretty common question that I get. How do I get a girl back after I've messed things up? Okay, in this particular circumstance, it's their first meeting, the first time they hung out in person, and you know, he's trying to come back from that. Uh, it's probably done, okay? She's probably, like, that's the test when you hang out the first time is to see if you guys like each other. And if you mess up during that, it's really tough to come back from that. I, I have done it, but in general, I'd say after the first meeting, you know, there's probably not much that you can do and not much that you should try and do. However, you can come back from a situation where you feel like you've messed up in. You know, I've done this plenty of times, I've coached my clients through it plenty of times, and basically the more connection that you've established beforehand, the easier it is to come back from it. Okay, so it really depends on what you've done. You know, if you did something where you maybe you were rude to somebody or maybe you said something needy that you thought like, or, or whatever, like those, if there's a strong connection established before then, like she'll probably give you the benefit of the doubt and you can come back from it. You know, she might be a little bit angry or upset, but, but you definitely can come back from it, it's possible, okay? But if there are instances where, you know, you've done something really bad and it's the first meeting, really, really tough. In general, if you're talking to a girl and she gets angry about something that you've done and you're worried about that messing it up, that's actually good. If a girl gets angry about something, that's something to work with. That's some emotion, okay? The opposite of love is not hate. The opposite of love is indifference. So if she is not affected by it and she just kind of starts ignoring you and you get blasé, that's actually the toughest to work with. Now, I've actually been able to come back from all of these situations, but I'd say less often from the blasé, more often from she's angry at you. So I'll talk about each of those uh, different circumstances. So I remember there was one time where um, you know, I met up with this girl and, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I should say this online. Let's just say my sexual performance was not the best. It was very, very short. Okay. <laughs> uh, so that happened and she, it was, dude, it was so awkward the way it ended. Like she just freaking walked out and, but we still, we were still talking. Okay. I was actually able to meet up with that girl again and then put a much better performance in there. <laughs> okay, so if you've messed up, you can come back from it. Now, in this particular situation, I didn't try and convince her that I was gonna improve. I didn't try and say, hey, oh, that was, that was a one-time thing, like, I'm way cooler than that, you know? Uh, I, I don't do any of that. No, however, you, if you felt like you were needy, if you felt like you were whatever, and I've had those situations happen too, if you felt like you were doing any of that and you try and prove to her, you try and show her with your words that that's not who you are, that's not the way of, of going about it, okay? Talk is cheap. You have to show her with your actions, okay? Now, typically, if it's a first date or something like that where you're just getting, and you just get blasé at the end, you trying to text her a bunch of shit is not going to make her want to get with you. In fact, it's going to prove her right. She's gonna be less inclined to want to get with you. You're gonna push her farther and farther away. It's kind of like, if you know someone's trying to sell you a car and you know you were interested in it for a little bit but then you saw one feature that you really didn't like and then the guy was like oh but like just 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 wait and see there's tons of stuff there's tons of stuff here that you can look at this car is amazing you're gonna love it trust me i know we, we messed up that first time but we're gonna be able to make this right here okay typically the salesperson sorry typically the client is thinking more and more no like this is not really what i want because the guy's trying too hard to convince me otherwise he's seeming desperate Okay, you don't want to act like that. What you do want to do is you want to show with your actions the kind of guy that you want her to see or the kind of guy that you are if you feel like that's the right guy for her. Here's the thing, most women that I've talked to, even if we went out, we went out one time and she decided she didn't like me like a while ago when I was, my dates weren't very good. Um, a lot of times they would creep on my Instagram. A lot of times that they would hear certain things or they would notice, notice me. You know, women are very perceptive and they keep up with other people's lives. They're a lot more perceptive than men are. So if you're doing stuff there that shows to her that you're the kind of guy that she wants, a lot of times she'll see it. You really don't have to like get in front of her face and say, hey, look, look, this is the real me. It's subtle, okay? So 
my recommendation to you would be to show with your actions the kind of guy that you want, a kind of masculine guy, a kind of guy who's not needy, a kind of guy who leads, a kind of guy who goes after the stuff and is on his path, you know, someone who's fun, whatever it is, wherever you feel like you messed up. And a lot of times they will see that side of yourself. Yes, you could stay in contact with her. Yes, you can keep texting her, but begging her to stay and telling and you know constantly trying to prove her yourself over text is not the way of going about doing it. Okay? Every single time I've gotten a girl back, it's because I've showed with my actions that I'm the right kind of guy. You remember one time uh, there was a, a girl who um, you know we were hanging out uh, on a date and you know she decided after the date that she didn't like me and it just it ended weird or, or whatever. And then I saw her out one night and I was having a great time. Like I was talking to a bunch of different people. Um, you know, I was kind of like the center of attention. Sure enough, she's like, hey, what's going on? How you doing? You know, I'm so sorry that, you know, I kind of like, you know, I, I've been busy, blah, blah, blah. She was super apologetic. And I'm like, okay, cool. No worries, whatever. And then I kind of kept doing my own thing. She kept hanging around. Well, sure enough, you know, we ended up together in bed that night. And it's those types of things that are going to convince women that you're the kind of guy that she's looking for. Now, I'd say that story and we did end up in bed, but that's not the right thing for everybody. Like just because a girl comes back around, if she's left you before for, you know, one thing or another, she's probably going to leave you again. So if you just want to hook up with her, that's okay. But if you actually want something stable or long term, um, I would say that if you've if you feel like you've messed up, a lot of times you didn't mess up. It's just she's not the right fit for you. You guys are not meant to be together. You don't click. So uh, pay attention to that, okay? Don't always think that you're the one who's making the mistake. A lot of times it's her. A lot of times, you know, women have issues or insecurities where, you know, maybe a guy does one thing that reminds them of their ex or their dad or who, I don't know, some, some situation that happened previously in their life. That's not your fault. It's not your job to change them. So um, don't always be blaming yourself. Cool. Well, this is something that I work on with my clients all the time, you guys. So if you got something out of this, please hit the subscribe button. Um, yeah, I come out with videos like this every single week. Good luck out there.